Hello everyone, how are you? Today I'm gonna make a video talking about some funny or weird experiences I had here in Italy. Okay, so the first one, um, I was at the doctor, so I was in the waiting room and there were a lot of people in the waiting room and this old lady, she started talking to me and then she asked me where I come from and I said I come from Brazil and then she looked at me and she was like then how do you have light hair? and I like I didn't know what to say <laughs> I just left and then she was she was looking at me like actually waiting for an explanation she was like really? how? and then I said um, ah my father's family is Italian and then she was like ah that's why <laughs> but like most people in brazil have a little bit of european a little bit of african and a little bit of native in them it's, it's just some people have more some people have less i kept thinking if i had money i would buy her tickets so she could go to the south of brazil so she could visit there and see the people that look like German. Not that everyone there looks like Germans, but there was a lot of German immigration there in the past. So there are a lot of people that look like Germans. I felt like, Kay is it Katie? I think it's Katie in Mean Girls, you know, that they ask her if she's from Africa, why isn't she black? Okay, this other story is actually sad when I think about it. Um, like i was um in the street i think i was going home and then this guy he he came to me and he was like do you wanna buy some pens i'm selling pens and then i was like oh, i don't want thank you and then he was like but can you buy me lunch at least because you know people in italy because there are a lot of tourists so they know how to get you they know how to get you and this was my first year so i didn't know how to act um so i was like ah okay and then we went to the shop and it's those shops that like they have the food and you tell the guy what do you want and the guy puts the food for you and then he kept on putting a lot of food but then i was like okay and then the price was eight euros the price of the um, of the lunch and then i was already like well that's a lot because it is a lot for a meal but then i was like okay what can i do so i gave the guy a uh, 10 euro and the guy gave me the two euro back yeah and then we left the store i gave the guy the food and then he was like oh i didn't tell you inside because i was embarrassed but can you give me the two euros the guy gave you as change? <laughs> then like, you know when you get sh shocked and you don't really know what to say? So I was like, um, okay, and then I gave him the two euros. And, and then at some point he saw that I also had a five euros, I think when I was paying the restaurant. And then he was like, oh, can you also give me the five euros? and before um before we even went inside the restaurant he was talking to me and then he asked me where i'm from and i said i'm from turkey because after some time i learned not to say that i'm from brazil especially for older men because they are creepy so i just said i'm from turkey and i remember that at the time uh, the money in turkey was getting like really bad like the currency because my Turkish classmates kept talking about it so I said I'm from Turkey and then when he asked me for the extra 5 euros I was like oh I can't like my money is so bad my currency is so bad I can't like this is too much and then he was like ah oh, okay and he left and then I was like my god I gave the guy like 10 euros <laughs> it's so much money like even in my currency that is a little bit better than Turkish currency it's still a lot of money to give someone <laughs> anyway now with time i just learned to ignore these people because i don't like ignoring them but the thing is they know how to make you give them money and if you listen to all of them you're gonna end up giving out 20 euros a day <laughs> 
so you need to get used to it sometimes they will come to you and they'll be like i don't want to ask money or anything i just want to talk to you and then you wait for what they have to say and then they tell a whole story and in the end they ask you for money so i don't know i just learned how to ignore them even though i feel bad about it then there was this other day i was in a shop a shoe shop with my boyfriend and we wanted to see a shoe that was outside so we asked like the guy that worked there at least i think he worked there because he was acting like he did and we um so we went outside to show him the shoe we wanted and we asked like do you have i don't know whatever size and then I think he said yes, he said yes, and then he started running. Like we were in the street, yeah, and then he just started running. He ran away. <laughs> and he never came back. We waited. And he never came back. I don't know what happened. Why did he start running? We thought he we he may have gone like to a deposit or something, but he didn't come back and he didn't say anything. He just started running. Okay, and the last story is a little bit weird. I had theories about what was this guy trying to do, but I still don't understand. So I don't know, if you have any theories, you can tell me here. So I was looking for apartments and then there was this guy that he... I saw him before posting uh, pictures of his apartments. He had, I think, three or four. And you could see they were all like made by the same person because they had the same style. They were just in different places. Um, but okay, so I texted him, no, I called him and he even spoke English and I was so happy because he spoke English because most of them don't and <laughs> it's so hard to talk in Italian, like especially on the phone. Um, anyway, so he gave me an appointment and then the day came and I was entering the metro and I texted him. Said, I said that I would be there at, um, like half an hour and I was entering the metro and then I I was about to go in the elevator to go down and then he texted me and he said oh sorry the the apartment is full today so you can't go there today and it was weird like it's kind of a weird excuse because let's say he double booked the the appointment um it's not a problem like i visited more than one apartment with more than one person like it's not a problem it's fine um but anyway he said that and i thought it was weird and then he asked me like oh uh, can you come this day to this time and i was like okay and then at that appointment it was my fault like i was late so i when i was leaving my house i texted him i said i would be like i think half an hour or one hour late i was very late that day and then he was like oh i can only wait for half an hour because i have to go to another apartment later so i told him ah so i won't make it today uh we'll have to make another appointment so he gave me another date and I remember he told me like oh just be in time this time please and I was like okay so in the next appointment I went there and I don't know why I didn't text him confirming but the thing is usually they are the ones that text you or call you confirming but this guy for some reason he doesn't do that and then I forgot to text him to confirm the appointment so I was there at the time I was in the street and then I texted him, I said, I'm here in the street. And then he was like, oh, I'm sorry, the, apart the apartment is full today, so you can't come. And I was like, but you gave me this appointment. And he's like, yeah, but I have a lot of apartments and sometimes I book two people at the same date. And then I was just like, tired of him because it doesn't make sense because as I said it's normal for you and another person to visit an apartment at the same time so I don't know I don't know what was his deal I didn't go anymore he asked me like ah do you want to go at another date I didn't even answer because I don't know it's too weird 
Um, so yeah, I don't know what was he up to, but I find it weird. And until like a, a lot of months after, I kept seeing him posting the apartments and like they are good, they are in a good area and they have a good price. So like, why wouldn't they be rented by now? I don't know, I find it weird. Anyway, um, well, I think that's it. I hope you liked the video and that's it. Bye!